Hello students, this is the next topic under module 3, the optim optimal generation scheduling. The optimal generation scheduling is also called optimal operation including transmission loss or economic dispatch including transmission loss. Economic dispatch including transmission loss and the same method, uh, the same derivation will be asked in this way derive the exact coordination equation exact coordination equation as in case of optimal operation neglecting transmission loss here also same thing ok optimal way in which the load shared by the generator uh, in the bus is given by the formula C is equal to C i pgi where i varies from 1 to k so uh, which is given by minimization of cost function ok so this is the objective of the problem the objective is subjected to constraint here the constraint is we know that in power system generation is equal to demand plus loss Okay, so it is including transmission loss. So we have to consider the loss. Okay, so generation which is represented by summation PGI where I varies from 1 to K. Okay, the demand which is represented by PD and loss which is represented by PL. Okay, on rearranging we get PGI minus PD minus PL is equal to 0 take it as equation 2 but here PL PL which is a function of active power generation at each plant so which is function of active power PG1 PG2 so on up to PGK take it as equation 3 ok now uh, we know that minimization of cost function the objective is to minimize the cost function which is a non-linear programming problem so which cannot be solved easily ok why it is non-linear programming problem because ci cost which is independent of the pgi so non-linear programming problem can be solved using lagrangian multiplier lambda so lagrangian function which is given by objective minus lambda plus lambda into constraint here objective is to minimize the cost function so summation ci of pgi where i varies from 1 to k minus lambda the constraint is summation pgi minus pd minus pl where i varies from 1 to k ok this is the non-linear this is how we solve the non-linear programming problem take it as equation 4 now the condition to get minimum cost the condition to get minimum cost the, the partial differentiation of Lagrangian function with respect to PGI which has to be equal to 0. When we differentiate equation 4, we get differentiation of Ci with respect to Pgi minus constant, you write as it is, the differentiation of Pgi which is equal to 1, the differentiation of Pd which is equal to 0, the uh, Pl which is a function of active power generation at each plant therefore the differentiation of PL which is the partial differentiation of PL with respect to PGI ok so take it as equation 5 on rearranging we get DCI 
divided by dpgi is equal to lambda 1 minus partial differentiation of pl with respect to pgi okay so again on rearranging we get dci divided by dpgi whole divided by 1 minus do pl divided by do pgi it is partial differentiation of pl with respect to uh, pgi okay so dci divided by dpgi whole divided by 1 minus partial differentiation of pl uh, with respect to pgi which is equal to lambda okay so here 1 divided by 1 minus the partial differentiation of pl with respect to pgi which is penalty factor which is represented by the symbol li okay so the equation becomes the same equation becomes can be written like this dci divided by dpgi into li is equal to lambda okay so this is also equation 6 so here li is what li is 1 divided by 1 minus partial differentiation of pl with respect to pgi where uh, partial differentiation of pl with respect to pgi which is called incremental transmission loss incremental transmission loss okay and we know that dci divided by dpgi which is incremental cost or incremental fuel cost which is represented by ici so substituting both in equation 6 we get ici divided by 1 minus incremental transmission loss incremental cost ICI divided by 1 minus incremental transmission loss which is equal to lambda and uh, on rearranging we get ICI uh, is equal to 1 minus incremental transmission loss into lambda that is incremental cost is equal to 1 minus incremental transmission loss into lambda uh, we take it as equation 7 this is called exact coordination equation if the question is derive the exact coordination equation then you have to derive up to this equation physical significance of lambda physical significance of lambda the objective of the optimal operation including transmission loss which is to minimize the cost function so minimize cost function minimize cost function c is equal to summation ci pgi that I, that is cost of operating pgi number of generator where i varies from 1 to m so uh, the, the small change in cost delta c is equal to it it can be equal to summation okay delta ci right so delta ci can be written like this uh, multiply and uh, divided by delta pgi or this can be written partial differentiation of ci with respect to pgi right so equation becomes summation partial differentiation of ci with respect to pgi into delta pgi where i varies from 1 to n okay so delta c which is equal to partial differentiation of ci pgi is what incremental cost right so summation where i varies from 1 to m okay incremental cost ici not taking initial value okay into delta pgi okay so incremental cost we know that from exact coordination equation it is lambda into 1 minus incremental transmission loss okay considering the initial value it is incremental transmission loss uh, not it becomes so this can be written lambda into 1 minus partial differentiation of pl with respect to pgi okay 
So substitute same in above equation we get delta C delta C is equal to summation ok lambda into 1 minus partial differentiation of PL with respect to PGI ok into delta PGI where I varies from 1 to M ok take it as equation 1 and we know that uh, here the loss is a function of function of real power at individual plant right therefore uh, the small change in loss delta pl can be written delta pl right so instead of this we can uh, write okay it is a function of uh, the real power at individual uh, plants right real power generation at individual plant so summation delta PL or uh, in multiply and divide it by PGI we get delta PGI into delta PG divided by delta PGI this can be written partial differentiation of PL with respect to PGI where I varies from 1 to M correct. So take it as equation 2 ok in equation 1 delta c is equal to ok delta c is equal to summation where i varies from 1 to m ok lambda into ok uh, bring delta pgi inside the bracket so it becomes delta pgi minus partial differentiation of pl with respect to pgi into delta pgi ok from equation 2 we know that the partial differentiation of uh, PL with respect to delta PGI into delta PGI summation of this it would be equal to what it would be equal to delta PL. So we get summation I varies from 1 to M lambda delta PGI minus summation delta PL divided by delta PGI into delta PGI. So this can be written delta PL right summation delta PL into lambda correct this can be written summation delta PL into lambda taking lambda outside we get delta PGI minus delta PL ok. So we know that generation plus demand uh, generation is equal to demand plus loss ok. PGI is equal to PD plus PL ok. Delta PGI is equal to delta PGI is equal to delta PD on rearranging we get delta PGI minus delta PL is equal to delta PD correct. So substituting same thing in above equation we get delta C delta C which is equal to lambda into delta PD. So lambda is equal to delta C divided by delta P D that is Lagrangian multiplier lambda is equal to ratio of small change in cost to the small change in demand. Thank you.